Hello, farmhands. I'm Colonel Fayer, and this is Farming Simulator 2022. And uh, it, we're into November, and the weather is frosty. Uh, well, it, it, is it? No. It should be frosty. I, either way, uh, I'm, on my, I'm on my tractor. You can see that. And I'm just dropping off a few grass bales that I've managed to put together. Uh, just, you know, because I had nothing else going on, really. Um, yeah, with it. The challenging thing at this time of year is, well, what are, you, what are you supposed to do with yourself? Uh, there's, I mean, there's not an awful lot to do. So I, I think it might be time to uh, to investigate the old uh, the old guide for planning and uh, and see what we can do. Six grand's worth of bales, worth all the effort, all the effort. Now, obviously, we'll wait for morning to break, but uh, there's nothing finer than a, a tootle through the back roads of the countryside in the middle of the night, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Tootling, back roads, countryside, all of that business. Um, now, I have... Yeah, I've, I've possibly done something stupid. Uh, it, it's nothing that you haven't seen already. Um, yeah, no, I've possibly done something stupid in blocking the road with all the logs that I cut, cut up. Um... Still not a scooby as far as what I should be doing with those. Uh, there are various different devices that I could acquire, and I'm tempted to do so. Uh, but I'm equally tempted not to do so in case I buy something stupid. Uh, I rented the the, uh, the stump ripper. Yeah, and, uh, and when the sun comes up, you'll be able to see exactly how it... Well, you can see it now. Uh, it's, it was a prop, proper good. Proper good it was. Um, yeah, it needed a little bit of coercion here and there but uh, but for the most part proper proper good but uh, there's lots of logs just sort of floating around on the highway and uh, as much as it's hilarious uh, to uh, to block traffic in this fashion um, it's also blocking me and uh, and that's that's less funny yeah I find it certainly less amusing um, right let's uh, let's hop out of here at which point it will probably be pitch black won't it oh yeah good Right, well, let's let's give it till morning. Right, there we go. Morning's up. Hello, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm clearing this this tree. I, I don't think we'll uh, we'll focus on this too heavily. I'm just letting you know, you know, jobs jobs occurring, um, and I'll I'll make a heap of of loggage somewhere so that uh, when I do figure out what to do with it, I'll do it with it, and it will be easy to get to and so forth. There you go. Let's just clear this up a little bit. I don't care whether I've got access to this land. It's on my land fundamentally. And therefore, shut it. Ah, uh, good. Right, now, as mentioned, I was going to look at the, the, going to look at the crop guide uh, just to get some kind of an idea as to, to what I should be doing that is in any way productive. Um, I've got plenty of grass I could be cutting. And, and to be fair, while you're not here, I'll probably do a bit of that just to make a couple of extra quid. But... You know, I think we've I think we've seen that. I think we've seen it. it but it's a good way of making a couple of extra quid. So uh, you know, that's that's all. You know, that's all solidly marvellous. Um, but yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm task focused on cutting this tree up, and uh, I don't like to leave the job halfway done. So uh, there you go, finished. Um, right, let's have a quick look and see what we've got going on. Is the uh, is the calendar? We're in November. So we've got harvest season, which doesn't affect us, for corn and sunflowers and soybeans and sugar beet and sugar cane and cotton. Uh, planting, grass. That's it. That's all I can do. December is even more of a washout. And then January is just as much of a washout. And then into February, where all of a sudden cotton becomes viable. Well, I'm not going to start planting cotton. I've got to wait for me wheat. Uh, which I'm going to be waiting for a while, I imagine. Yeah, September. I, I ought to check on the. Oh, hold on, is the uh, is the weather forecast? What have we got going on today? It's going to be sunny uh, and 22 degrees at four o'clock this afternoon. Ah, that's that's a very nice uh, November's afternoon. Uh, let's check in on the field and make sure that the weeds haven't come up. Uh, just to be on the safe side. There we go. Wheat growing. Fertilization's only 50 percent, but I can I can live with that. That's okay. Um, yeah, this first time round, I'll bodge it in and, and see what we get. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, but at the same time, I need something to do. I need something adventurous to do. And, uh, and therefore, I think we'll, uh, we'll jump on uh, Billy Tractor here and, 
and take it for a spin, right? Un unhook the bailing rig. No, yeah, no. Un unhook the bailing rig. Thank you. And uh, we're going to go up to the top of the ski slope uh, and see if there's some some mischief we can't get into. I don't, I'm looking forward to having the money to be able to uh, forge my own vehicle and tool park. Because at the moment, I'm just kind of... Well, I, you can see for yourself. I, I leave them where they lie. And uh, and that's not especially helpful later on. Uh, anywho, uh, we're looking for uh, a site that may form a, a secondary a secondary kind of tier of, of influence for us. Oh, what about some tree planting? Hang on, oh, no, you don't stop pressing the wrong button. Um, yeah, I want to plant grapes. Planting season is September or October. Well, yeah, that boat sailed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, which means you're, you're out. The grapes are not happening for a whole other year. Oh, I'm disappointed. Yeah, well, I mean, you could have looked at that before you advanced the date to the next month, but no, you know best. And therefore, you know, you're stuck with what you've got. Um, right, I'm feeling chickens. And I mean that in a spiritual sense. Uh, that, uh, that a bit of chicken action could go down quite nicely on my farm. Um, in fact, I've not even been up to the top edge of my farm. I, I, I'm going to do that now, just purely because I can. Uh, you know what you could do? What? Slap the Johnny Touchdown in the lawnmower and just, uh, just tell him to get to work. Point him in a direction and go, mow all of this lot, would you? And maybe he will. Why is it so dark? Because you're still on accelerated speed. Oh, all right. Let's rock through until December then. Is that a good idea? Probably not. Yeah. Well, it's dark now. Yeah. Yeah. You you left the you left yourself on high speed. Oh, that was an error, wasn't it? Yeah. So I guess this month, less profitable. Less profitable. What's the what's the weather going to do? Have a wild guess. Uh, uh, just let's have a look. December. Snow. Snow. Yeah. You're going to mow the lawn in December, are you? Yeah? Is that something that's going to happen? Is it? You wally. Well, I mean, despite the fact that it's dark, it's November, and it's the middle of the night, uh, I have deployed uh, Hair Touchdown on the uh, on the lawn mowing plan. Um and uh, and as the, I mean, this is an unsanctioned field. It's it's not blocked out as such, uh, but it's it's intriguing to see you know how he interprets things. Uh, I should buy the the mower that slots into the middle of there. It'll save a heck of a lot of time. I've no idea where he's going to go. Um, it, it could just is there's I mean there's loads of land to play with. Uh, he could just mow without end, and that would be well that would be something. And he does, he does seem to be mowing without end at the moment, which is uh, moderately exciting, because <laughs> I have no idea what he's going to do, other than just kind of go, there you go, I've got all your grass, and you kind of go, all right, Johnny, um, cheers for that. Yeah, pay me, he'll say, and I'll go, oh, yeah, okay, December has arrived, and the mood is eerie. This is quite atmospheric. Uh, it started snowing, obviously, because it's December. And uh, up here on the hillside somewhere is uh, is Mr. Touchdown. And he's uh, he's sporting his tractor. All being well, we'll be able to... There he is! Oh, I don't know... What's, I don't exactly know what he's... I mean, he's executing some kind of manoeuvre. I think he's he's trying to fashion some kind of technique for, uh, for getting the middle bit of the... Uh, of the grass, despite the fact that there's no middle mower, he's, he's, he's performing some sort of wiggle, and uh, and that's I mean that's going <laughs> it's going well, um, yeah I mean look at the state of this, Jonathan. I mean honestly you've you you you've brought shame upon your family with this driving. Uh, I mean I mean it's on your head I guess because I'm going to put you out in the windrower after this. I've no idea if it's going to be any success or not. Given the uh, given the snow, um, but uh, but there it is. 8 a.m. Sun's still not up. That's that's nice though, isn't it? That's how attractive. Yeah, that's very pretty. Yeah, let's just drink it in for a moment. Yeah, are we done drinking it in? Yeah, I think we should probably just get on with something. Now, I have noticed that my field has started to to uh, to weed up a little bit. 
which is good because uh, that means I've got something to do. Uh, as much as, you know, there's always something. What's he doing now? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? He's having fun. Um, he's not He's not exactly expensive to, uh, to keep on staff, so uh, I'll just let him crack on. Um, now, where, where's my field? I've really got to delineate some of this stuff in a clear and coherent fashion, otherwise I'm, I'm going to be stuffed. Uh, yeah, right. A occasional weedage. But it only seems to be along the, along the edge here, uh, as we've got some occasional weed. That is cow parsley, unless I'm mistaken. And, uh, and therefore, it counts as weed. We've got a little bit of weed there, but the rest of the field is currently okay. Um... So it's just around the periphery. But either way, I should probably get some weeding gubbins uh, on staff ready to take care of business. The thing is, I might already have weeding gubbins. I'm just not wholly familiar with all the kit that I've got. I've got... Hold on. Oh, no, that's, that's idea. Uh, that's the wind rower. That's the baler. Yes. Well done, clever monkey. Uh, that's the uh, tedder for flipping things. Yep. That is the uh, seed spraying device. Yep. What's that? That's uh, a hake. Okay, and what's this? That's for planting. That's my planter. Right, and then you've got to plow next to that as well. All right, none of these are a weeder unless I miss... I'm going to the shop, and, uh, and I'll just double-check that none of these actually take care of any weeding-type business, and we'll... Uh, We'll turn the speed back down to something sensible so that it doesn't advance to January while I'm still mucking about. Now, I admittedly, mucking about is very much my uh, uh, my calling in life and therefore I do it regularly and frequently. But, you know, that doesn't mean that it's going to make me any profit. Uh, I mean, we are making money um, and more money can be made as and when see, I see fit. But... Uh, it would be good just to not throw it away, you know. On which note, here's some seed that I purchased that I didn't really need. Uh, yeah, I bought rather more than I actually required. Right, I'm not going to spend ages in the shop, he says. Uh, right, weeding, 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 weeding. Is that a cultivator? No, it's not. Is it a harrow? Um, they prepare the fields for the next sowing. It's not, then, is it? Maybe uh, if this were an alphabetical order, it would uh, it would be helpful. But at the same time, it does put like associated jobs all in one place. So I mean, I can't complain about it too much. It's not it's not any of this, is it? Uh, cultivating prepares it for next sowing. No, that's, it's not cultivator, then, is it? I didn't think it was going to be, but you know, it's worth checking, given that you can't find the, the gubbins that you actually want. Don't tell me I've got to use weed killer. No, nah, that seems that seems excessive. I I want to be uh, organic as much as possible. By which I'm uh, could be this device label weeders. Oh yeah, all right, okay. What do we got here? Uh, you've got a six meter spread. Yeah, super. Yeah, and you're only nine grand. So that's nice. What about you for eighteen? I'd prepare to pay eighteen. Nine meter spread. Yeah, and it does um, brown. Yeah, it drops things. Uh, yeah, this is the Pneumatic Star 900. Yes. Anyway, it does grass. Yeah, it does hair clips. And it does happy, happy flowers. Um, good. I've no idea. I've no idea what this... Do, I mean, do you, do you multi-purpose? They can only be used in the first stages of growing crops. Well, that's, that's good. Yeah. Let's... I mean, I should probably buy the Einbock... Uh, pneumatic star 900 do i actually what do i own at the moment uh i don't own a oh i do own a weeder you've got the uh, aero star exact 600 oh do i oh good right where's that then i, I your guess is as good as mine okay well it's it's made by einbock and they are the best or potentially only uh, manufacturer of weeding devices. Well, we should we should go find that and uh, and drive it up and down a bit. Ten four. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna need to buy uh, a set of forks for the front of the uh, tractor at some point so that uh, I can lift stuff up and carry it around and move it and what have you. Uh, what I have observed vis-a-vis -vis the bulldozer 
is that its bulldozing capabilities are really rather limited. Um, uh, better suited towards, you know, just giving stuff a bit of a shove once in a while and going, yeah, 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 I'm the boss. Uh, but uh, but no, it didn't I tried to move logs out of the roads and all sorts and uh, and it was just not having it. All right, okay, well, where's me, where's me iron bock uh, dingle flap? Uh, I want it. Uh, I need it to uh, to improve the quality of my croppage. It could be this bad boy, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that's much of a bad boy. It's, it's, you know, it's just a bit of metal. Yeah, no, here it is. This is it. Okay, well, what do you what do you do with this? Well, you deploy the baddie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you've got... That's the deployment. All right, and you reckon I should just drive this up and down? Well, given it's only the edge of the field, let's go see if we can take out this cow parsley and see how we get on. All right, stick it in. Uh, turn it on. Doesn't really need turning on. Just just drive it up and... Put your hazard lights on. You are a hazard, mostly to yourself. Uh, we'll just drive through this lot and see if it's any good. And if this is any good, then we'll know. I am considering for the next season... Uh, of dividing this field into uh, into multiple parts in order to to facilitate uh, Johnny Touchdown being able to actually do the job because so far he's been a bit of a washout this looks like it's being moderately successful yeah alright good okay right well we know that's that then uh, I, will, I will run all the way up to the end and then I'm going to buy some chickens and I'm going to plant the chickens in the ground and they'll turn into more chickens that can then be supplementally planted. I haven't got anything for the transportation of chickens. Well, I'll probably need a chicken trailer then or similar. Uh, that's, the, you know, that's, that's not a deal break at all. Yeah. Do you think there's any more weeds down here? No. You know what? I'll do this later. This is, I mean, that's, a, that's a relatively mundane job. But I'm going to keep me, uh, keep me weeder attached while we go on a grand tour. What about chickens over here? Mmm. That's accessible. Yeah. And it means that you don't have to mow the lawn over here as well. All right. Okay. Let's give it a spin. Hop out of that. Activate this. All right. Here we go. Uh, right then. Give me his cursor. Yeah. Got, got the cursor. It's a, it's a lovely day for it. Uh, so. Buildings. Yeah. Sheds. No. I'd love. I want sheds. Obviously, I want everything. I want all of this stuff. Uh, but not at the moment. Oh, what have we got in tools? Uh, you got pressure washer. Yeah, yeah. Fuel. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Nothing interesting. Now, production. Uh, to solve my log problem, I have... I, I mean, I've done a bit of research on this, by which I mean I've clicked through and gone, oh, yeah, that looks like it might do the job. Uh, where are you? Not a restaurant. No. It's not a pizzeria. No. It's going to be the... Wait for it. Oh, yeah. It was No, it was the biomass heating plant. Because it's, it's got a picture of a tree. And I thought, ah, it's also got a picture of bales, which means I could potentially flog uh, flog all of my uh, leftover gubbins uh, to the biomass heating plant. Yeah, right. So I was thinking we stick it right next to Klaus's house because uh, he, he won't mind. Um, and uh, yeah, just, you know, bang it in there and then I build a ramp or something to get up to it or just drive really aggressively. Either way. About there, that would do, but that's 40 grand plus the flattening cost, and therefore, so that's a little bit expensive. Um, and uh, and therefore, I'll, I'll save that maybe for another time or when I'm bored. Uh, we've got greenhouses, want some of this too. This is uh, fruit and veg for people who like those things. And, uh, you know, we'll use this. I mean, I'm basically going to use the road as an access road. Uh, and I'll have I'll have loads of those. I'll I'll put in half a dozen or so. No idea what I'm doing with them, but I think it's that's all good nonetheless. But we're talking chickens, friends, uh, because or bees. Don't get stuck into bees. No, it's madness. Oh, what's in others? No, doghouse. Yeah, oh, I live there anyway. Uh, so when it comes to chickens, you can go industrial. Ah, plenty of chickens. Yeah, but I haven't got the money for that. So we'll go minimal, and have a couple of them. All right. There you go, chicken coop. Yes, bruv. Uh, right, okay, so what are we doing with this? We'll stick it up against the edge of the field, but not right up against the edge of the field. And I want about, th I'm going to have three of them. It's a terrible idea. You should figure out what you're doing with it before you buy three of them. No, 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 I'm going to I'm gonna buy three in case I break two of them. All right, okay, got him. 
Although if this tree's in the way, I might only go with two. Would that hold on? We'll see. I'm giving you an element of mystery. Uh, it looks like we're buying two. Well, okay, that'll do then. Right now we now we just need to figure out how to staff them with chickens. Something something about an animal shop or similar. You'll take the tractor. You're gonna want it anyway. All right. Okay. Fine. Yeah. All right. We're off and running. Come on. Yeah. Hazard lights. And then uh, full illumination, please. What's going on here? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say you missed a bit. How dare you? Uh, yeah. Klaus, can you look after my weeder? I'll, I'll be back because I've got to go and buy chickens and that. Um, right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, chickens. Loving it. Absolutely. Well, would be loving it if there were any chickens. So, we go over here and we go chicken pasture. Oh, hello there. Uh, chicken, five quid. Okay. Chicken? What? 50 quid. Why would, I buy for, why would I buy a transport fee is applied if you do not transport the animals with your own livestock tractor? I think we'll go on the cheap just to start with, and then I'll buy a livestock trailer later on when I decide to sell the chickens. So that's no months old. Reproduction every two... Yeah, okay. So it's because this is six months old. It will start kicking off, yeah. Whereas this one is very, very young, but cheap, yeah. Can I buy more? Um, I, I guess not. And then a rooster. Ah, chickens provided with eggs. Roosters don't know. They're less, they're less good with the old, the old eggs business. Animal dealer, yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll go into here like that. Hey, double and a bit of double click action. Yeah. Why would I buy expensive chickens? Buy buy the cheap chickens, because that way, if you kill them, smart thinking. If I kill them, it won't be a problem. All right. Okay. We're gonna have thirty chickens on here. I'm gonna go with. Uh, all right. This. I'm gonna go fifteen. Right and one roosty. Right and see if uh, see if the old roosty there is uh, is up for it. 90 quid, yeah. Bargain, super. Right, give them a roosty just to keep them company. I don't need 15 roosters. That's going to be flipping bedlam. Uh, there you go, buy one of them. All right, roosty, do your work, son. You know what I expect of you. I expect you to turn those uh, 15 chickens into more than that. Right, I'm going to need some chicken feed. Don't <laughs> I? They can wait. Um, right, I don't know how long they can wait. Yeah, do they need water? I've no idea. Uh, and we'll go the same again over here. Yeah, 15 chickens. Yeah, super. Right, buy that. I mean, this is cheap. Uh, I hope that I get a brilliant return on investment. By which I mean any return on investment. There you go. And a bit of that. Yeah, buy that as well. Go on, lad. Have fun. All right, you know, it's all, it's all there waiting for you. Right, I'm going to need some chicken feed. Which I suspect rather means that I'm going back to the chicken shop. And, uh, well, uh, the, the shop, shop, the, um, and, uh, I'm going to need a, I'm going to need something in which I can transport feed and the feed and potentially something into which I can load feed. Uh, don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I d meanwhile, we've got this place over here, which might be something. It might just be a. Uh, I mean, this is. I think this is probably where I'm going to flog my grain, if and when I ever get to that point. Um, but as it stands at the moment, not wholly certain. I could call up the map and ask. That's a. I well, know. Look at it and see if it tells you. It's one of those. It's a filler. It fills stuff. Yeah. No, I think you're going to go and buy some chicken feed in bags. We're then going to need to put those bags into something. We're then going to need to be able to get those bags out of... Oh, flipping lamppost. Uh, out of that something and deliver it to the chickens. Or, or the chickens will all perish. Is that good for the chickens? No, it's not. It's not good for the chickens. You could read the manual. Uh, yeah, but I'd, I'd rather figure it out for myself to start with. And if the chickens happen to... Uh, you know, have a rough time of it, then we'll we'll have learned something along the way, and that'll make us all richer. Yeah, apart from the chickens. Yeah, the chickens will be largely less richer as a result. 
Uh, right, okay, big bags. Uh, what do you got? Uh, lime seed, wheat, yeah. Pig food, road salt. Okay, yeah. We don't believe in uh, we don't believe in in feeding the chickens. And what have we got in the pallet situation? Fertilizer, yeah. Seeds, yeah. Silage additive, gracious. Mineral feed. Oh no, I'm not feeding me minerals. Um, no, none of that. I guess that's not it. What have we got over here? Packs, animals, animal pack. Okay, what do you got? A trailer. We've got the Big Master Western WCF. We've got a truck. Uh, this is great. Um, wheat, oat, pig food. Hold on. Maybe it's not good. This, you see how this says chicken feed on the bag? Yes. Maybe. And I'm just, I'm reaching here, but I've got a feeling that, uh, yeah, see, that says chicken feed. And they eat wheat. Hey, I'm growing that. Super. Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll buy one of those. Thank you. Yeah, put it on a bale. All right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll buy it. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to need something in which to store this. I think it's time to buy a trailer. Uh because that way I can I can carry stuff around. I've got no means of putting anything into a trailer other than the uh autofill kind of a deal. You can have this for 11 and a half k. What does it store? Absolutely chuff in everything. Should we run through exactly what these things are? Go on then. Well, you've got the brown pyramid. Yeah. You've got the uh, you've got green sweetie over there. Uh, that's a pizza that's gone been slightly burnt. Uh, furball. Yeah. Some sort of seeds. Uh, uh, that one pan pipes. That one that's that's a broken carrot. Uh, that that's obviously a potato. Uh, this is corn or, you know, some kind of exotically shaped lipstick. You've got the hair clips. Uh, they're not hair clips. That's some kind of some kind of legume. Okay. Sunflowers. Right. Olives. Yeah. <sighs> Maracas. Happy flower. Uh, wheat that hasn't come out right. Uh, fast wheat. Wheat and seeds. Sure. Okay, right. Well, yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. What's wrong with your existing trailer? That's a spreader, son. It's a different kind of different kind of caper. Also, something that we can later use to transport logs in. I don't see that as a bad thing. Yeah, but you got you got no idea how to actually sell logs. Yeah, and that's something that I'll have to work out. Uh, but right now, just a delicate little uh, this Velga appeals. What about the class? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the class is expensive uh, compared to the Velga. There we go, park it on top of the bale. Um, right, what's your storage there, son? Oh, I've, I've given it some options already. There's the option that it sits on a bale. No, that's the extension. All right, what's your, what's your capacity? 22 and a half metres cubed. All right, okay. I think people say cubic metres, don't they? They can say whatever they like. Uh, we'll set up wide tyres, beefy. Yeah, no, standard tyres will be fine. Um, I've got a tractor with wide tyres. I don't need anything more than that. Uh, okay, well, okay. 22 and a half metres cubed for uh, 20k or 8. That's going to be too small. I ought to get something that will at least suffice. What about a half pipe HP 20 by Cramper? Quality on wheels. I love it. Oh, yeah. What do you do? 12 metres cubed. Well, you're a load of rubbish then, aren't you, Cramper? Yeah, no, back off. The class is well better. Uh, let's have a quick... I'm just going to have a quick look at the uh, the, the Brantha Z18051-2XXL Powerflex. <laughs> Frankly, I don't need any more reason to buy this. It's it's given me everything I need, and it comes with sport tyres on by default, and a cover if you fancy it. 18 and a bit metres cubed. It's still not as good as the class. No. That's more expensive than the class as well. Yeah. You can, however, change the colour to orange. Mmm. That's nice. Yeah. All right. No, no. But, okay, it's between these two. We're either power flexing or we're classing. All right. Does store more. It does. That means less faffing around later. That's also true. But it's but that's just called a carrot 140 touchdown. Uh, and this is the uh, Z18051-2XXL Powerflex. 
<laughs> That's no competition. I'm having it, and we'll have it in black. No, we won't. I'll never see it in the dark. I'll have it in orange then, please. Yeah. Buy it. Thank you. Cheers, then. All right, good. Now, I'm hoping that I can just slap this on the back of the tractor uh, and then tell the tractor to pick up the... What's this uh, Bambi doing over there? It just ran straight through a fence. Uh, some kind of uh, phantasmal uh, Bambi going on. Right, there's the chicken feed on the end. There's some more chicken feed here. How much chicken feed have I bought? From the looks of it, yeah? A lot. Why? Why would I buy so much wheat? What was I using wheat for? Is it also wheat seed? It could be. This is weird. Yeah. All right. Okay. Maybe they're maybe they're multiplying. Maybe they're they're like pod people. They're, and Donald Sutherland's going to come out in a minute and uh, and point at me. Um, but I don't I don't know. There you go. Well, you're loading with whatever this is. It's wheat. Okay. Groovy. Well, you know what we should do. Take all of it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, an instant reason why I shouldn't have this trailer. No, I need I need that front axle fixed. That's a oh no, this is this is a recipe for disaster. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I do have to, how do I take the cover off and just leave it off? Uh, uh, N. Thank you. There we are. That's fine. All right, good. Load up. That's it. Yeah, I mean it's not doing me any good sitting here. And I don't care whether the wheat is procreating or not. I mean, I'm, I'm just take it with me. Yeah, I've got that's a lot of wheat. Should probably go and sell some of it. I might do. I, uh, I might go feed all of me, uh, all of me chickens, and then uh, and then dispose of this wheat. By dispose, I mean sell it at a massive profit, a modest profit, any kind of profit. Not even, not even that fast. Why would I own so many wheat? I don't know. I don't. How am I supposed to know what you were thinking, or if you were thinking? All right, what's that? That seed. Okay, that definitely can't come in the truck. I've got five thousand liters of wheat. Okay, I'll oh, put the hatch back on. There you go, good lad. Right. So I'm going to go and stuff this into some chickens, uh, and then roast them for a couple of hours, and it'll come up lovely. Wheat, wheat stuffed chicken, uh, a la snowdrops. I think it's going to be an absolute delight. We'll go and find a restaurant. We'll flog it to them. Tell them it's uh, haute cuisine. And I reckon you can flog any leftover wheat you've got there. Or you could keep it. Uh, why would I do that? To keep feeding your chickens. I mean, if anything, why not just sling all of this lot down and then the chickens can be fed for a long time? Yeah. Uh, I think no matter what happens here, it's going to be wrong. I, I would. I mean, that's a that's a flipping given. Uh, I mean, I don't know how rich I'm expecting to get off chickens, but uh, very, I think is the word. Right. Okay. Don't drive the tractor into the chicken coop. They will not appreciate it. All right. That's all right. It's okay. Right. Let's pull it forward up to here. Now there's a there's some hashed lines there, which I suspect strongly is the uh, is the the egg dispatchery. Ah, start overloading. You got it. All right. Go. Overload. Oh, I've, uh, do you, you want me to hold this on, do you? Go. Start overloading. Oh, here we are. There we go. Right. Don't don't drop all of it. Yeah. Oh, you're done. All right. It won't let me overload it. Right. Okay, fine. I've, I've slapped, some, uh, slapped some chicken feed in there. I, I'm hoping that they're fed as a result. Yeah, look. They've got a little trough that you have now filled. Oh, that's nice of me. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. All right, do the same over here. I think this tree's not long for this world. Yep, I agree. Good. Okay, super. Yeah, I mean, it's it might not be a precision device, um, but it is the Z180512 uh, uh, slash 2, beg your pardon, XXL uh, Jumbotron, and that's a good thing. Right, just abandon it here. Yeah, put the cover back on. Abandon it here. Right. Oh, that's gone well. Yeah, let's take this tree out. Uh, yeah, you're in the way, mate. Sorry. Yep. Congratulations, nature. Yeah. Don't you fall on me. Uh, yeah, see, you, you, you can get me once, but not multiple times. Right. Bit of slicage. Uh, that's good. Yeah, we've got some 
There's some defoliage, defoliating going on there. Yeah, maybe that's the service I could provide. Anyone who needs some uh, some foliation doing, I could just I could rock up with my chainsaw and sort them right out. What as like a beauty regime? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that people are going to go for that. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, right. That's that sorted. Where's my logs gone? You didn't really get any. They were. It was kind of kind of feeble. I right, get this pokey stick into the road. Yeah, good. All right. Well, I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Um, what's going to occur? I'll, I'll, I'll hang on. I'll do a quick. I'll do a quick swing by on uh, on the old touchdown boy, and uh, and see what he's up to. I'll even grab the windrower on the way. I'm not bothering with the tether at the moment. I'm just going to turn it in the grass and go and flog it. Um, I mean, it's it's much of a muchness as far as pricing is concerned. Uh, all of those of you who said, uh, oh, if you want to make silage bales, it's it's only off grass that they do that. I went, oh, okay. It used to be you had to do it off hay. Uh, but no, no, these days apparently only grass. That's okay. I'm, I'm largely over it. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's it. Keep pushing the logs around. They're not going to cause any kind of trouble. They're certainly not going to cause the game to crash or anything like that. Certainly not. Yeah, I don't know where, where my clown of an associate is, but I'm assuming he's doing really, really good work. Right, let's, uh, let's go find him and, uh, and then hand out some undue criticism. Yeah. I mean, I've been paying him, so, uh, so you know, presumably he should shut up. Okay. Well, this is... Well, look, here's some, here's some progress. Yeah, not as much as I might have expected after, uh, what, 14 hours of, of grass cutting. No. You think he's got lost? I think there's a very high likelihood that he's got lost. Alright. Just start windying. I'm windying. Windying is occurring. Good. Yeah. If the draw distance were a little bit longer, we'd be able to see how far he'd got up this hill. We'd also be able to ascertain whether or not it's going to be possible for me to get up this hill with this tractor. I think if I were to stop windying briefly uh, and uh, and retract my spurs, I could uh, I could drive downhill instead of up. That might be more productive. True. Well, look, I can see him on the map. Hang on. Let's make it so you can see him on the map. Can you see him on the map? Yeah. Does it look like he's stuck to you as well? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's found a bit of road and been perplexed by the entire thing. Well, that's nice. Uh, I'm Colonel Failure. This is the Farming Simulator. And uh, I'll be back presently with further adventures in farming in a simulated style. And uh, I hope to see you there. Why not uh, Why not throw your face at the, uh, at the old like button, if you can be bothered? Because um, that's, you know, it really does, it really does help. I've no idea if it helps. But, you know, people say it helps and therefore, you know, give it a go. Why not? What have you got to lose? Johnny's missed absolutely loads of it. I've got to buy the other bit of the lawnmower. I think we've got to stop mucking about and take this seriously. Where was he going? He's built a gigantic green stripy rug in my field. And now he's, he's down there somewhere, having followed his nose to oblivion. Well, super, yeah, he's stuck, but... Yeah, what an idiot. Right. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Now, on a regular basis, I will make... When, when I'm talking nonsense, right? When I've, do, when I've got a project going on that I'm just beavering away on, it doesn't require a massive number of brain cycles for me to, to, do, the, to do the worky bit. And I talk about my family and I talk about my life and stuff. Uh, I mention herself on a regular basis. And, uh, and one of the things she bought me, uh, actually on behalf of one of the kids, uh, a couple of years ago, was this. Uh, let's, let's see if you can, can you, can we get a, yeah, there you go. Uh, it, in case you can't read, it says, uh, di you probably couldn't. It says, uh, Director of Unnecessary and Special Projects. That's me. That's how much she gets me. That, uh, and, and I like that. Uh, so I'm just polishing it. Yes, a, a, a cheap grey hoodie is the absolute best thing to polish anything with. Um, yeah, but that's how much she gets me. And this is, this is important relationship advice. Right? Important relationship advice. Doesn't matter who you're with, as long as they get you, as long as they they understand what it is that makes you tick and what it is that uh, that is is important to you, and uh, and herself really, 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 really gets it. Actually, probably gets it more than I do. Um, I, uh, she understands me and uh, and what what it is that motivates me in a in a really big way, and that's very important. There you go. Be with people who get you. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all the message there is for, for today.
it's good that yes not bad how much was it uh, it doesn't say oh well it doesn't really matter i don't care how much it costs could have cost a million pounds in which case i'd go you're mental we could have paid the mortgage off uh and and then had new cars and lots of holidays and bought another house and there's a dog barking outside my window well i guess i'll wrap up here then